Who's gold kick on G if you want to sip on G person off? Okay, there it is. Is it? Oh, I thought it was the light raid for some reason. Oh, my bad. Okay, so the light raids normally appear here, but I could have sworn this was a Dabora light raid. Doesn't matter either way. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the video. The brand new raid is now up local time in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. There's no brand new rewards here, but there is a very, very, very rare reward, a Super Soul, the Goku Now I'm Mad Super Soul. This is the second time it's been available in Xenoverse 2, despite, well, the first time it was available was in July of 2022. It's now September, no, it's not. It's now October 2022. 23 october 2nd 2023 it's this one right here when using a, an awoken skill it boosts the strength of all your attacks by medium amount increases key restore by medium amount and increases damage taken unfortunately from all attacks by a medium amount Fifty thousand points in total that's what i'm gonna get that gives you all the worthwhile rewards there's like three artworks that are like nothing special but have been you know uh available in the past so we'll go and get 50,000 points at least and i'll show the build that i'm going to be using and let's try and get a z rank shall we yes that shall in the meantime do subscribe to the channel please if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video thank you shout out once again to deoxism u2 again uh first person to join the lobby absolutely love it okay to be fair i should probably ready up now Actually, uh, yeah, I'll ready up now because he's level one. He probably won't level up, so we'll, we will absolutely 100% defeat him in this, as in we will get him down to, yeah, we'll take his health to zero rather than, you know, waiting five minutes. Again, later on, I'll show the build. It's this one right here, my standard PvE raid build on Burkhold. My freezer character, G Fuel flavor of the day, it is the... Dream Demons flavor. It's the um, like what well, the holler, uh, holler. <laughs> horror collaborations called CAC CAC to save at least 20% off if used on checkout. Once again, cold CAC CAC for 20% off. Hey, it's me, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So, going into this, my strategy is either going to be just nothing but Emperor's Death Beam or maybe nothing but Bomber DX, as I believe this one against Deborah. He's got like mind control and peeler storm. It just makes it very, very, very awkward. And you can easily lose these specific raids against these characters just by every person on your team being mind controlled. Or I think if some people are mind controlled and the rest are in like a different stage. Yeah, yeah, it's the brainwash attack. That's gonna be really annoying. And peeler storm as well. So I oh it's waiting for peeler storm, I think. Yeah, there you go. So, final explosion for the most part might be completely useless in this specific raid because, again, you can go for it and he'll do that. Okay, and I believe. No, Deoxys. Okay, so it's only me. That's. Um, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I don't really mind that we've gone to the other realm. But you can see just how absolutely easy it is that. Uh, <laughs> like, how easy it is to just get completely. Like, just to lose this because of the mind control stuff. <laughs> Okay, there you go, nice. So yeah, uh, probably try and keep my distance. Also, a video I'm gonna be recording either today or tomorrow is going to be uh, a Vegeta loading screen video. I've already got that prepared because that takes a, a few minutes to do because of just how many loading screens there are in Zenovus 2, even as of right now, as of DLC 17, Hero of Justice 2. So I've got that ready for whenever I do end up recording it. So every loading screen in this video will be of Vegeta, the different forms of Vegeta. The, the, um, yeah, Spirit Bomb from, um, the AI teammate. <laughs> Super Spirit Bomb, fair enough. Ah, uh, what a waste. Yeah, uh, we probably still will defeat him here, but man, it is taking just a little bit of time, isn't it? That's Peeler Storm. Oh, no, not Peeler Storm. Now, to be a bit tactical, I could go for a Stamina Reset, which I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. See, like, four of us have just been, you know, hit with the mind control. Oh, okay, that sucks. <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah, this one's actually a little bit rough, to be honest. <laughs> but again, at least in this video, or if I don't do it in this video, I'll do it off camera by the time the video is uploaded. I do want to get to at least a bare minimum of 50,000 points just so we, I can get all the worthwhile rewards. Pretty much, it's just that Super Soul, the Goku. Now I'm mad! 
soup soul, which is this. This is on the second time it's been available. That specific soup soul was added back in 2022. If you remember that free update where it was like the break, the content for like the breakers that was added, it's like a free three and a half gigabyte update. If I remember, yeah, I think it added oolong all the assets so that. Oh wow, how that how how that didn't hit me, I've got no idea. Uh, so like the update could go live later for like a, you have to try and cross promote Dragon Ball the Breakers in Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2. Um it, it was added in now that there's like five of them added, I think. So again, as of this recording and it's been uploaded the same day, it is a rare super soul as this is the only the second time it's been available. Now in the next raid, if I remember, I'll go over skills that you absolutely should not, under any circumstances, run in online raids. Those skills being skills like Emp <laughs> no, definitely run Emperor's Death Beam. Those are skills like Gigantic Roar, Spirit Sword, Circle Flash, the kick version of Beast Special Beam Cannon. Oh man, you got more as well. Like there's, there's loads. Like skills that basically have like some sort of cutscene or gives the opponent, you know, like invincibility frames. Do not use them. Stick to Emperor's Death Beam, maybe Consecutive Energy Blast, maybe Bombing DX, etc, 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 rather nice, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say that's given us 6, maybe 7,000 points if we are feeling generous. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to check the scoreboard just because I know we pretty much have... Actually, no, I will check the scoreboard because I do want to probably switch between using just Emperor's Death Beam and then switch between just using either Bomber DX and or the Consecutive Energy Blast Super Attacker. Yeah, final explosion in this raid. If you can fully land it, fair play. But given just how longer takes a foot of use if you've got max stamina yes it's worth it but it can just go for pillar storm or mind control and it's gonna just absolutely wreck you in all fairness okay so with that said that get, that's given us man i actually uh oh, wrong one <laughs> uh, that's given us no more than seven thousand points if it has i'll be surprised oh wow huh yeah deoxys just got just all, oh uh the three of us here that's uh, quite funny okay i'm surprised that's given us just under eleven thousand points that's fair uh, i'll do it once more and then i'll well i've already got it recorded i'll log into my burkhold character that i've been using to show off the build if you so wish to copy it verbatim with that said once again let's make another lobby and do make sure you leave a like on the video and i'll mention a second video going up later today which is a just over a nine hour long marathon video one moment okay got a full team this time and deoxys is joining back fair play um so yeah video later today it's going to be i think i'll put it up later today it's already uploaded i just literally need to click publish uh it'll be up a couple of hours after this one it's a nine hour and ten minute video and a few seconds of the best of the each time i win series it's a massive marathon video i do hope you guys enjoy that when it's up and also i think either tomorrow or the next day again as of this upload I'm going to be rebooting the series called the Each Time I Win, insert character here, get stronger, the Ultimate Edition, which will be like using every preset of a character. For example, the first one, which I've already got done, is of using Goku, but it's not going to be like Goku Black, because that's Domasu, or the Goku preset on Captain Ginyu, as that's still Captain Ginyu, right? So it's like every preset of base Goku. Well, we nearly lost this. Um, <laughs> I think I was the only one that didn't get mind controlled. So, okay, I did say maybe don't use Final Explosion. It might be, maybe, maybe, maybe decent. Oh, that's going to sting. To use it if, like, a few of your teammates have been mind-controlled. And you can use it as, like, a, a, like a, a wide range attack, like what I'm going to do right here. I probably won't use this again in this video. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so, pretty, uh, what's going on with his health there? It's, like, recovering. <laughs> Weird. Also, oh, that's going to... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, again, uh, skills you should not use in online raids are skills like Gigantic Roar, skills like Spirit Sword, skills like, once I, again, Circle Flash, like I said earlier, the kick version of the Special Beam Cannon Beast. I rarely see anybody use that now. It's like such a fad. You know what I mean? I mean, cool skill. Uh, any other skills that, get, you know, like cause like a cutscene or like a... Uh, causes the opponent to have invincibility frames for a moment, such as, again, like I would mention, Gigantic Roar. It's only a one-hit attack. It doesn't even do that much damage for the most part, or compared to skills like, for example, Max Key. Oh, no, Empress Death Beam. Are we going to fail this? No, it's just half of us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yay! <laughs> okay, nice. 
Super Key Explosion is also a decent skill to use, but I just, like, he's got Super Promise, so I'm not entirely sure that's going to be worth it. Now, he doesn't have Gigantic Key Blast, so you can replace Photon Swipe with anything. I just wait for Photon Swipe because that sends back the Gigantic Key Blast in one hit. I don't know if it's glitched. I assume it kind of is, but then again, Photon Swipe is a paid DLC skill from DLC 10, the Ultra Pack 2 set. So maybe they did that as a little bit of like an Easter egg or to make things easier if you want to pay, you know, for it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> it's an Android 21 skill as well, which is rather uh, funny. Well, not funny, just strange how it's like such a cool skill and a useful skill. It's Android 21. Nothing against Android 21, just seems kind of random to some extent. Yeah, uh, so again, there's plenty of other skills that you shouldn't use, but I do forget them off the top of my head. So what I want to do for this is we've got 10,800 in the first run. We probably will defeat the ball here. I think it'll be roughly give or take the same amount of time as the first raid. We'll see how many points we've got. I'll show the build on Burkhold that I'm using right now so you can copy if you want. You know, if you want. And in the next raid, I think I might just try and use just nothing but Bomber DX. Naturally turn golden and we shall limit burst as well for the attack increase and key regeneration. Oh yes, we will. Just to see if it's going to do anything uh, different or any more points. Wait for it. Oh! Toasty! Ultimate finish, rather nice. We got an, when this raid started, the highest rank I got was a C rank. That was a an A rank, and that was a Z rank. Cool. Uh, one of the few missions, I said one of the few missions. Well, one technically one of the few raid missions where I didn't have a Z rank for, but now I have it. I still need to Z rank every story mode mission, not for any reason, just because I want to. Okay, let's check out the score and continue. One moment. Also, if you do raids by got you know, not the, the raids that appear here by flying to them and you want to check the scoreboard instead of talking to multiplayer mode which is faster just equip your vehicle it will fly down i think faster than flying down or dropping down you appear here right next to napa uh go to the scoreboard and uh yeah <laughs> you can do it there so i've got to think that's at least 23 24 thousand points oh oh wow that's weird i don't think that's ever happened or if it has it's been very rare that I'm technically number one. Uh, let me just take a screenshot of that. <laughs> sure. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna ha it's not gonna stay there for long. In fact, if I just reload the, the uh, scoreboard, it might be. Well, it will update, but it probably won't be number one there either. <laughs> so, in fairness, I think we only need to do this once more because from that raid, just we got like what uh, twenty something thousand. So I'm gonna, I think for the next raid, I'm going to use just Bomber DX. No, no, we'll stick to Impus Death Beam. But if you want to use Bomber DX, if you don't know how to get it, it's a Napa skill, I think, from the first mission. Yeah, Bomber DX there. Yeah, okay, so that's it. Before we continue for possibly the final run of this raid, uh, in a moment, you'll see the build on Burkhold, my Freezer character. So feel free to watch that and if you... Yeah, you know, watch it if you want to you know, know how to use the, the exact same build I'm using right now to like just floor this raid. And that said, enjoy it. And I hope you find it useful before we go on. You do this raid, probably, yeah, possibly once more. One moment. Okay, let's go over the build that I have been using so far for this raid. That was a rather nice landing. We'll summon Shenron in a moment so you can look at the settings, you know, to remake this character. I know I'll show this in every raid video, but if you don't know, you don't know. With that said, here are the stats. 125 points in max key, max stamina, and in key blast supers. Rather nice right there. Here's the moves I'm running. Honestly, for this, probably just stick to Emperor's Death Beam. You can have final explosion if you think you can land it, but I think, so side note, this bit right here has been recorded before the raid starts, so, you know, I might have a few changes. If so, I'll show the changes and you won't see this. <laughs> uh, but that said, ultimate charge, Emperor's Death Beam, probably just gonna stick to Bomber DX and a consecutive Energy Blast Super, maybe Photon Swipe as well if the Bora goes for the gigantic Key Blast. Punisher Guard speaks for itself. Here are the settings, the equi uh, equipment. Here's the uh, color stuff. I'll show that off properly in a moment when we summon Shenron. Here's the uh, QQ Bang. I'll show you how to get that in a moment. And for the... Sorry, to say QQ Bang for the Super Soul. Here's the QQ Bang on Burkhold, my Freezer character. To make this, mix the DBZ Bardock top with the Beerus top and use a Super Mix Capsule Z as the mixing item. And eventually you will get that exact QQ Bang. Okay. okay, or one that's probably a little bit better. So to get that Super Soul, you get it from the TP Metal Store. 
and I don't believe it's available as of me recording this and with that said as of me well as of the video being uploaded for the first time right but you get it from the tp mail store so if you want this super soul just keep checking the tp mail store and eventually it will be available for you to purchase in dragon ball xenoverse 2 so it's not available as of this recording and upload it's like what october 2nd 2023 and that said uh, actually, I'll show the colors in a moment. Well, I'll show the colors right now because I'm going to save off this preset with my PvP preset of Burkhold. It's this purple right here. Pause the screenshot, what have you, on everything, like, option you can see right here. I'll save over or rather load up my PvP build for, like, videos and all of that. There you go. Uh, don't, I don't need to save and equip again. It's just a habit. But that's it. Let's now summon Shenron so you can see the settings on Burkhold, my freeze race character, once again. Oh, hello Shenron, how are you doing? Want to be drop dead gorgeous? Here's the settings for the voice. It's voice 10. Oh, yes, it is. And again, here is the character creation settings. Pause to read if you want to go and screenshot this. So again, you can recreate the character. Here's the colors for everything else. Again, pause to read if you so wish. It's just like grays, pinks, and purples. Rather nice right there. Again, you get the basic idea. I know I'm probably going too fast, but again, if you want to know how to do it, it's right there. And let's now continue with the raid to get to 50,000 points. Oh, hello. Uh, that was me from the past then. Um, so yeah, continue now. There's five of us here. So not full lobby or like a full team. I think we should be fine though. So again, this could possibly be the last run of the video or last one I do. Because again, if we got like 11,000 points before and then 34,000 points after that, yeah, presumably we'll be able to get at least 16,000 points in this run. Actually, we might not because it depends how much health the board is going to have. Okay, it's damaged, so we might actually be able to defeat him in like a moment. Uh, that might be a little bit risky. Well, not risky, but let's just... If we don't get hit with mind control, we might be fine, but he does have pretty low health in all fairness. So we probably will... Yeah, look at how much damage that did. We're going to probably easily defeat him before the five minute, you know, five minute run out. So kind of a bit... Um, a bit... Uh, Close, maybe. Again, I have to wait and see. I am taking my time, though. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, okay. So, three of us got hit with the mind control. I don't mind, but we're going to go to the other... Okay, thank you. <laughs> but we're gonna, if we do get hit with the mind control, it's just wasting time. We have to go to, like, the time rift or, like, the inside one self stage, whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, and then defeat the upper version of your character, of your cat, your custom character. Whatever you want to call it. Cold cat on G Fuel, 20% off. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> and then it's just taking time away. I, I think it would count towards the score, but given how low, like how easy they are to defeat, it's like I'd rather just do it on Deborah or the raid boss. He locked on. Then he went for Peer the Storm. Great. Okay, okay grabs work. Great. Nice. <laughs> no. Oh, that's, that stings. Okay. I just hit somebody else so I can get Max Key to then go for Empress Death Beam. If that's not too much trouble at all, there. To bore out. No, no. Okay. Do you know what? That's risky with a fine explosion. Okay, it lands. Good. Wait for it. Come on. Let me just do more damage. Okay, he's got two promise, so it's going to attack him or do damage on it. Look how much damage that's done. I wouldn't be surprised if that alone pull, up, pull us to like just over 50,000 points. That was ludicrous. Oh, no. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, computer got knocked down. I might as well go for a regen capsule. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, why not? Definitely just going to stick to Emperor's Death Beam now because all our final explosion would probably give us enough points if we can land the full... Wait, if I can land just nothing but final explosions so for like the next two and a half minutes... If he were to last that long, that would push to probably like 62, 63,000 points in total. I could go for it now, but it's if he goes for either Peer the Storm or the Mind Control or Brainwash Attack, whatever it's called, again, it's just going to actually kick off a grab. Okay, there you go. I don't think that's pull us to, uh, to 50,000 points. I will check very quickly before we go and do it once more again. One moment. Now, if that does pull us to 50,000... Oh, wow. Oh, oh, sorry. 
Hold on, what am I doing? Oh, no. <laughs> so, okay, so we have got 50,000. Nice. I thought, oh, that's me there with like nearly 70,000. That's fair enough. Now, you can get a few TP medals and like the nickname Avenger or Ragnarok or whatever it is for getting to 100,000 points. But because I've already got those, it's pointless. There are a few raids. Like there's one with a Mirror Superstar, which has been a while since that's been available. Where the last few times that has been available, you do need to get to 100,000 points. But I'll do videos on that when they become available. For, but for this raid, you just have to get just have to get 50,000 points to get all the worthwhile rewards. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you're going to do this raid. It'll be available for you local time when it's normally available. More videos on the screen right now, and I hope to look forward to that massive marathon video that's going to be uploaded in about three to five hours from this video being uploaded. I'll see you in one of these videos in a moment.